This is Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales. And you're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. And we are trying... Uh, El Toro Dorado, the Golden Bowl. We just tried the Blanco, mm -hmm. which is which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, a lot of pepper. Right after the show, it finally hit me. I was I was sensing green olives. There's green olives in there somewhere. Yeah, and and I thought it was a mineral. It, it, there's some minerals there, but it's way at the back, and and it's it, um, you have to be catching it. And so if you yeah, so if you like that style, um, it kind of reminded me of the olives you put in the uh, in the martini. So, <laughs> hey, you know why not? Why not? Pour it, pour your tequila in a martini glass. So we are trying the reposado. So we've already poured it. Yeah. Did they say how how long the, the, this ruffle was aged on their uh, on their website? I, I don't know. Okay. I, to be honest with you, with their, there's very minimal information on on their website. So we're we're kind of winging it with this one. You're just going with a flavor profile, which they didn't give as you know as much on their website. Hopefully but they, they will use ours. Maybe so. <laughs> they they should. Um, it is a very light colored. Red Bull. Yeah, if you compare it to uh, the Blanco, the Blanco isn't uh, pristine or, or or colorless, but it has a color to it. Oh, uh, the the Repo is this light straw. Yeah, light straw color. It's got some nice legs. So it's got some good viscosity to it. Wow. Oh, that's nice. It's got a neat nose. Wow. Too. Now see, I get mineral on, on this. See, I, I not yet. I, I get I get the the caramel, the barrel. It's, I get yeah, a lot I'm of getting, barrel. I'm this. getting caramel. It's got a really nice nose too. Yeah, it does. It's very very pleasant. You'll see it. You'll feel it right at the top of your of your little glass. It's like that's a, just what you're a, using. It's, it's a sweet perfume. And again, when you're when you're tasting, if you really want to get into it, you 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 kind of want to do all the silly stuff we're doing. Yeah. It looks silly, because, but until you try it, and and because yeah, you're you're getting the full spectrum of of, of the uh, nuances that that go into your nose and into your palate. You have to remember you taste with with your your entire uh, upper respiratory, if you will, which is your your tongue and your nose and your 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 nasal cavity. That's very pleasant. Okay, let's taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice. Coats the palate. It is. Um, oh, it's just right on the palate. Yeah, it's. It's not. It's not heavy. It's. 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 Um, it's got a great balance. That's what it is. It's very, very balanced. It's very balanced, and yet it's. It. It holds its own. This is a very, very decent reposado. I, I'm I'm really surprised oh, it's because it's almost it's almost like it delivered more on the on the on the intake, even more than than um, than on the nose. It was a surprise. It really was because the nose is very pleasant, very nice repo. Yeah, this is very nicely done. I wish that I you know I again I wish that they would give more information because it's a very pleasant sipper. This is this is a very you know there are añejos that añejos that we've had. That are not um, as pleasant as this reposado. Um, wow! Um, and you know what? The 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 going, getting back to the balance. I, I can feel the numbness in, in the on the gum line, mm -hmm. which is which is pleasant. Mm -hmm. um, it's not it's not killing your palate. It's not hot. No. Right. It's not hot. It's it's very pleasant. It's smooth on the palate. And yet, it's got the structure to give you that that zinger in the gums. Yeah, there's 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 no mistaking that you're drinking tequila, uh, and this is a very fine tequila. I, I'm really impressed. This is one of the one of the better reposados that I've had in a long, long time. Wow, very nice. Wow, I'm not using the spittoon on this one. No, I'm. We should. We we try because well, you, when we're you go through a, quite a few, right? You go through a series of these. It's always safe to to you know. This well, is a wine that. tasting spit. Don't be afraid of doing that. You know, drink a lot of water. We we do that. 
as well. Um, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. This is a beautiful ripple saw. That's very nice. It's well balanced. Don't let the color fool you either, because it's got a it's got a richer flavor than it than it than it seems on on the look, because it looks like it's too light. You know, like it hasn't been aged properly or long enough. Uh, uh not true. This is this has really got some some some. This has got a nice yeah. ripple solid punch and, to it. Uh, whatever barrel they're using, it's not overbearing on on, on the taste. No, uh uh but it's uh, it's a very well rounded uh, ripple saw. That's that's beautiful. I, I actually like it much better than the Blanco. There you go. And that's just me. Okay. But uh, very nice. Good job. That's yeah, very very pleasant. Excellent high marks from us here at tequilaaficionado.com. It's uh, Toro Dorado. There you go. There you go. El Toro Dorado Reposado. Um, I think it's a uh, I think it's a, a, a nominee for. Brands of Promise, our, Brands our of tequila, promise. Uh, our tequila aficionado official uh, awards that we're giving out at the end of this year, beginning of next year. Uh, I think it's a good front runner for uh, Reposado brand of Promise, El Toro Dorado, and I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez, and you're watching uh, Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com, and uh, we'll be up next with our uh, uh, Toro Dorado añejo. Sip wisely.